hell we have? It's <laughs> Lucy Robinson going to the well-known supermarket. <laughs> And what snacks she's got? What snacks have you got, Lucy? Um, well, you've got sausage roll. Fantastic. And bubbly water. Marvellous. I've got some pop chips and some ribena. Oh, very good. Let's go. I don't know if you can see this, but current situation. Welcome to Phyllis Venting. Welcome to the rainiest vlog in the world. It is absolutely peeing it down. I've come to take Ember to arena hire with Justine <laughs> and uh, this is the current situation. That does not do it justice, it is so wet. I don't think I can ride quite the hood up. Um, so yeah, Justine's gone to put the fences up, got my camera on charge because I didn't charge the battery and uh, we've got three horses with us today. Ember, who I'm riding, Justine's riding, Brody and Lady. I don't think you've seen it on the vlog, guys, so that's very exciting. Hello, Amber. You ready? Yeah, you ready to get wet? Sorry about this situation. And look, guys, these are his new free flex um, jumping booties. They're by Steuben, and they are very smart indeed. Very excited yeah. to wear them. He's around here. Justine? Hey, there's Riley. Wave, Riley. <laughs> Justine's gone off. Right, I think I should get on, shouldn't I? Yeah. How am I going to get on in this tent? Um, you put your foot in the stirrup. Yeah. And then you put your other leg over. And then you just. That's it. Oh, you <laughs> I've got a, a, a raindrop. Well, probably. Right, so I've come to Lime Kiln Farm Equestrian Centre and Justine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we've got a little course of show jump set up here. I can't remember actually when the last time I jumped it was, but I guess what's the aim of today? Just to have a nice, uh, nice round, nice rhythm forward and uh, to jump some nice. Yeah, I kind of, I think he's yeah, yeah. probably ready. Get a nice camper and then we'll pop some oh. on and we'll pop a few up. Yeah, okay, yeah. perfect. Oh, let's go. Right, for context everyone, Ember is a nine-year-old uh, ex-racehorse, used to be a flat racer. And as you can see, he gets a little bit keen and that has been 
our problems. Um, him rushing, kind of going off whatever stride he likes and kind of also rushing after the fence as well, uh, which makes it very difficult for me between fences, say on a related distance, um, to get to the fence in one piece. Um, so he's very enthusiastic and he has taken to his show jumping really well. Uh, but this session was very much about me just making subtle adjustments to get him focused and listening to me. He's ridden in a flexi kind of rubber gag um, and it's not very strong at all because he's very sensitive. Um, and I don't wear a martingale on him because he does not like it and he won't go anywhere. So I am all for the minimal the better but the gag just gives me a slight more bit of control which actually with my new techniques learnt uh, which you will see later on in this vlog because at this stage it was very much the beginning of the session and this is an example of Ember taking matters into his own hands he lands off the fence head up and he just kind of goes off whatever stride he likes because actually coming into the fence he was very clever he popped in a little one which I am actually encouraging at this stage and you can see he's just like, bye, ma'am, I'm off. Um, and this is where I just need to be a little bit firmer in my aids just to get him listening to me to avoid situations like that. Because actually, it's quite dangerous when they run through your hand like that because you don't want to be coming into a solid fence, for example, and that happening. So here's this slowed down because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing with my hands. So he does a little bit of a big jump after that and he wants to take off again. So all I do is just a firm kind of more downwards pressure, just keeping my hands low. And he comes back to me so nicely, which actually then I think, OK, maybe this is how we're going to go. If I just do a very subtle hand alteration, I'm not yanking on his mouth. I'm literally just keeping my hands closed round the reins, really nice and low. And see there, he comes back to me really nicely. Another slow-mo here. So pop, and then just a, ooh, literally the tiniest check. And that is enough to bring him back. So this is the technique which I adopt for the rest of the session, which will hopefully lead to him popping round a little bit nicer. But yeah, he just lands after a fence, little alteration, comes back to me really nicely and then can maintain that rhythm and the sooner that he learns that he's not going to be allowed to take it at his own pace the better actually our rounds will be i will actually reiterate that once i have taken that little squeeze on the rain as soon as he comes back to me i soften and i'm really soft and i let him just travel forward because I'm not holding and containing him I'm just it's literally a little squeeze of the rain just to bring him back and it's literally so subtle but makes such a big difference see in between here historically he would have rushed but I could just bring him back really nicely so this is a massive step forward in his training so very very happy I think he just popped this last fence very nicely here we pop I Give you the 
and then they're all straps. Um, and you're being quite firm, you know, and you've made him wait when he tries to charge, and he's responded well, hasn't he? And I think it's just a slight adjustment in my hand position. Yeah, just instead keep... of coming up here, which is not going to help him when he I just down here, and all I have to do is a little squeeze, like, squeeze exactly. and then he comes back. And he's listening to it. Yeah, and he's not. He hasn't thrown his toys up. We know if he throws his toys out of the ground. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's not even remotely, he's got his ears pricked, he's no. looking, like, come on, let me at him, which is good. He's just got to learn to contain that power. Yeah. And he, not... But he's not going to, you've got to say, slower. Yeah. And that was good, that was much better. Yeah, that's like 85. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Better than 65. Absolutely. So, I don't know, yeah, no, that's good. You, know, you can come out now and do an 80. Yeah. Show jumping and... You know, I reckon I could do a 90 soon. You definitely could. I think you could do an 80 and then a 90 on the same day. Yeah. I think you're ready. You've just got to, I would have, personally, I'd have one more training session yeah. where you just compound that and have him waiting. Yeah. Definitely. And then you're ready to but go. But how good, even the bits in between, well, so he was better. just so relaxed. Yeah, absolutely. Boy. Wow, he's sweaty. Oh. He's probably as sweaty as I am. Right, so Ember's back on the lorry and I'm really red and rosy because um, I'm hot because it is muggy and Justine has just come in on Lady. She's a lovely big grey mare that you haven't seen on the vlog before. Here she is. And maybe Justine will let me put in, well, and Riley. This is, this is Lady's owner here, Riley. So, uh, but maybe Justine will... Uh, both of them will let me add a snippet onto the vlog so you can see yeah. how pretty oh, she is. Get jumped off. If you don't get jumped off, exactly. eventing this year with great success. Yes. Whoosh. Oh god, sorry, in the way. No, it was alright. Oh, that one. Ping! Bloody, I don't know how you sit it. Where's she going? Where's she going? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Lollipop, lollipop. Lovely. Way. Oh, no. Very good boy. All ready yeah. for his 90 after jumping his one meter well, sand fences. Yeah. Quite nice though, because he wasn't at all flat. He was very... No, I don't think he could ever be flat. No. I've seen that back end. He was a good boy. He was good so boy. good. That seemed to drive as a little rubber ball. Yes. Which is... I've just got to come into his bed. Yes. Did you have a little pep talk to myself? Yes, I did. Right the corner, Justine. Yeah. Right the corner. Oh, good boy, Brody. Well, I would say that was success. Great success. Yeah. Great success. Was good. Great That's success. Today. I'm, I'm, I must be the colour of a beetroot. You. Oh my God! Now don't go any faster. That's why I've kept my hat on. Um, right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. We're gonna love you, leave you. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Tune in for next adventures, which will be who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. Say bye. 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 Bye.